Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your end of the year forecast, the last one. This is your December 2016 reading, and it applies to your uh, sun, your rising, and your moon, as it always does. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on just making it to the end of the year. That is an accomplishment in and of itself. I've had a lot of letters and, and questions over the past few weeks because there's been a lot of emotions that have been going out in the media. And uh, one thing that I want every sign to work on this month is the ability to be more empathetic. And sometimes our world leaders aren't always showing that empathy. And it's not any one particular country. I sort of see this as a universal thing. And it also extends to like how we treat celebrities and how we treat one another. Um, so I'm asking everybody this month as we kind of go into the holiday season to really focus on empathy. Because I think if we all engage with our heart a little bit more and put ourselves in someone else's shoes, uh, this place can be so much more fun to live in. So as we look at the cards, I'll see if the messages come through and that it doesn't doesn't necessarily come for every sign, but I am starting every video with that sort of encouragement. Um, and I don't often ask for things, but I think if, if you can just take a pause and think about how you can uh, be kinder to somebody around you, it could it could create a, a nicer environment. All right. Your channeled information for this month is to recalibrate. And uh, I like this idea. And I've had to even this week have some moments where I was recalibrating. So I, I definitely relate to this, even though um, it's not for me. This message is for you. So what I'm getting for recalibrate, are you stuck right now in a way of thinking? Uh, are you feeling that you you can't get past a certain idea or um, possibly, you know, just feeling like the more you try something, the less it's it's effective. So the recalibration can be a whole new way of thinking of something. Try to turn it uh, on its opposite, like an antonym. So if you feel like you're stuck, think about how this is maybe not a block, but um, it's actually causing you to find a new path. And so it's, uh, it's pointing you in the right direction. So recalibrate your thoughts that you're not being blocked, you're being helped, and you're being uh, repositioned and you're being prevented from doing something that may not be uh, of your greatest uh, good. I've had this happen before when you can't send an email and all of a sudden you proof it, like the, the server drops or something, and you're like, oh my God, there's a typo. And literally it was the universe helping you not send it too soon. Or if you can't park in a cer certain parking lot, maybe you're going to avoid getting a fender bender you know, into some sort of an accident or something. You never quite know how the hands of the universe are working in your favor. So this month I want you to recalibrate to assume that um, a, a perceived blockage is actually a repositioning. Okay, so that's the first message that came through. Let's go ahead and take a look at a catalyst card. And for any new viewers, first of all, hello. Um, the catalyst card is basically going to connect to all cards this month, but it definitely will give us some insight in on, on that um, on the channeled information. So just what I was talking about, basically exercising your imagination into new ways of thinking of not just how to do things, but how things may be happening to you. Instead of happening to you, they're happening for you. Um, I'll read the card. It just says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So think creatively and try to turn things that seem uh, unfortunate or wrong or bad into something that are, it's actually all for you. I think. I'll turn the camera up one more time. I do this because I want to actually see you when I'm talking to you and vice versa. Um, when, when you realize that all events are happening for you, not to you, it's a very empowering thing. All of a sudden, wow, these are opportunities. It's not punishment. And so that's what uh, I think is the big shift for you guys this month in understanding. All right. Now let's take a look at your cards and see what sort of messages are coming through this month. So let's review everything here and see what's what the main theme is for you this month. Okay, so right at the center, um, there's a lot of balance and decisions you have to make this month. 
what I see for um, your money and for your time and energy resources this month is you're going to have to do the best you can to pull them into some sort of an equilibrium. I do think you can do it, however. You have the resources to do it. You have the stability to do it. And what's going to need to take priority is really what's easier for you to do first. So the moon card is an emotionally driven card. Um, often comes through for a cancer um, you know, or for a water sign. But it also means connecting with those sort of more emotional aspects of your personality. So when I see this, that recalibration is how do you find the fun elements in something? So whenever you have to do some sort of a work task, it's called work for a reason. Um, even when you really enjoy it, there are things that just have to happen sometimes. So this is about psyching yourself into an activity that you don't want to do because you know that if you can get it done now, maybe you can enjoy a movie later. Or um, if you have the great opportunity to pick, like if you're self-employed and you just like to do one thing better than the other one, do that first, get it done, and then finish the next thing. So prioritize on what you can get finished first and then um, and, and, ha and enjoy, and then you can deal with the other stuff. And when you're doing the other stuff, remember to keep recalibrating and thinking, all right, this really only takes an hour. If I sit here and stress about it, it's gonna take an hour and a half. I'm just going to finish it. If you do that, if you talk to yourself a little bit this month and talk through or think through things, it's gonna help quite a bit. I feel like some of you moving into this month may have had some difficulty in either committing to or making a decision. Uh, I think that's going to ease rather quickly. Uh, looks like you have a lot of support coming through this month. We see the lovers here. And what that's suggesting is a lot of partnership opportunities. This particular lover's card can see, be seen as also a platonic card. So in work and in family, you could have very strong assistance coming from a, a, a strong woman in your life. And if that's the case, enjoy it. And, and definitely just, I think, say thank you. That's really what needs to happen. But uh, if you're looking for new relationships this month, I, I think that it's for some of you, it's already happened. And it could be a very strong pull, almost a magnetic pull. And if that happens, I say go for it. I mean, it, it's here in the cards. Uh, but I, I'm getting a strong, uh, sensitive, watery energy, possibly feminine. And uh, with this card in the middle, it could also be a cancer. So uh, looking at your work and your finances, you're actually in a pretty good space. Even though the Eight of Pentacles is reversed, I, I love this card because it shows basically an expansion of skills and knowledge. And what I would say is just make sure that you're making enough time to continue with any like night classes or school or homework that you have um, because it could be going by the wayside a little bit. So you wanna make sure that it's still a priority because I see a big payoff if you continue with that. And if you haven't for any reason started any sort of uh, studying or acquisition, like I said, of, of knowledge, this is a great month to get certified, to take a language class, to just take a dance class, do something that's going to help you feel more knowledgeable and confident, all right? And also, I feel like the knowledge will go to good use. When we look at your ego position, this is, uh, I'm actually getting immediate family, especially since normally on the Ten of Pentacles, you would see extended. With this, we really see like a parental sort of connection. So um, mother, father figure could be needing your time or vice versa, your children could be calling on you to be a parent. For those of you that are single, sometimes we end up having a maternal or a paternal influence on people around us. So there could be someone a little bit younger or less experienced that's asking for advice or needing a lot of your time. What you wanna make sure is that they're not feeling too childlike and you're, it's not your job to raise everybody. So if somebody is taking a lot of your energy, you just have to be firm like a parent would and say, you know, I love you, I'd love to, to, to catch up with you, but um, I'm busy until Friday or something like that. So just put some kind but firm um, boundaries down and you should be in good shape. What you need to watch for this month is to be open-minded enough. Um, and trust me, I understand when you know what you want, sometimes it's hard to listen to other people talk about other things that, you know, just don't seem like they're gonna be as effective. But this month is a time when Again, uh, you want to at least open up to opportunities. We talked about empathy. Ask them some questions, some clarifying questions before you dismiss an idea. Uh, I think you're probably going to be hard pressed to find a break 
until the end of the month. Uh, and, and when that comes, you should really take advantage of it. Um, the Four of Swords reversed actually shows me way too much going on and a need to relax, a need to sort of feel like, oh, I can just take it easy. Uh, and I, I think that in addition to sort of remaining open, open-minded, when it comes to your communication, you want to think of new ways to, um, inclusive ways to communicate. So if you're sending out a memorandum, um, or if you're talking to a loved one or texting a loved one, make sure that the, the language that you use is kind, inclusive, and, and open, not critical. Because whenever I see a king, a knight, a queen, a swords reversed, it usually shows the, uh, there's, a, there's an opportunity for improvement in language. So particularly I'm getting, it, it's, it's written and it's, um, and it's verbal. So just watch those two examples. So whether it's text, writing, or picking up the phone, unless someone asks for your advice on something, it may be better just to listen to them and, and empathize with them and say, wow, why don't you tell me some more about that? Or um, how can I help you on this? Sometimes that's the best thing. Let them say, I need your advice. That's your, that's your key. And then you're like, okay, here's what I think. And, uh, but maybe they just say, you know what? I don't know. I just, can I just talk for a little bit? And if that's the case, then let them talk. Uh, always better to ask that clarifying question before you decide to offer advice. And with some friends and family, I will just say, do you just need a listening ear? I'm happy to listen. Uh, do you want my advice? And do you want me to be really honest? Or do you just want me to sort of like be a sounding board? And that way you're letting them set the parameters and it's going to be fine. And they can't blame you for giving the advice that they eventually ask for. Um, so that's the main sort of information that came through. Uh, I want to put a note on your, um, your crowning card here. The High Priestess is fantastic. This is a good card for anybody that's like a project manager, um, anyone that is overseeing something big in their life right now. Um, this basically says you are in control, you can get what you need to get done, and you should feel confident in that, okay? And powerful. Let's now expand the forecast, and we'll start first with health to see mind, body, and spirit what, well, let's try that shuffle again. <laughs> mind, body, and spirit what's coming through. There we go. All right, so uh, we got volatility this, this month, and that makes sense, um, based on the fact that, there may, the, that your channeled information was to recalibrate. So with this, it's really important that you don't overextend yourself. Uh, I think this has more to do with running yourself down and possibly having either what ends up being like a little bit of an energetic meltdown or an emotional meltdown. Don't lose your patience, your temper, or your sensibility this month. Take care of yourself. That includes eating and sleeping properly, and you can avoid any sort of outburst, which could have an adverse effect on you. Now I understand why we have a Knight of Swords and a Knight of Staves in reverse. Um, that is saying, watch the way you think and speak, take care of yourself, get enough rest. It should come into focus if you allow that to happen. So it, more than anything, it's watch your emotions and, and what's going to directly affect your emotions is have you eaten properly and have you slept enough? I know it sounds simple, but when you get run down and irritable, that's when you're not at your best. So I want you to be at your best. All right, for your uh, wealth and career, we have joy and st stability. And that's really confirming what I just said, which is the happier you can sort of be in your life outside of work, um, the more stable things are going to feel. The other thing with joy is to really have some fun. And uh, this means possibly taking a lunch break with whoever you're with at work and just saying, you know what, we need a break. Let's go take a 45 minute walk to the cafeteria and chat and then we'll get all of this done. We'll, we'll, we'll push right through and we're gonna get this done by six o'clock or seven o'clock. That can be so much more productive than, we're not leaving here until this is finished. Meanwhile, everyone's like hungry, angry, resentful. So try to laugh, try to take a break, try to get to know who you're with, and that can help quite a bit. For those of you that are just in an environment that doesn't allow that, the joy and stability means outside of work then. So find things that you derive joy from when you're not at work, whether that's just making sure every morning that you get a chance to, to do something for yourself. Maybe it's to go to the gym, Maybe it's to read a few chapters in your favorite book or to watch, you know, binge watch a couple episodes on Netflix. Whatever it is for you, 
find that and that's going to be your rock because you'll know, you know what, this week is bad, but I have this one thing that I do every day that kind of brings me satisfaction and that can be something you look forward to. Let's take a look at love now and romance. You're, okay, so this month, it's not a bad time at all for romance, actually, if you're open to that. We saw that with the lovers. So we have attraction here. It says you, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. The, even though I'm using radically different decks, there's similar messages here. The joy and the happiness is what's going to bring people in. If you're agitated or if you're in a volatile state, that's not going to be good. So I'm trying to sort of work you into a, a calmer state where you're rested, where you're happy, where you're laughing. Because when you think about how you maybe spot someone in a crowded room, you're going to go probably for the person that uh, looks notwithstanding, is smiling, is happy, has some friends around them, versus someone in the corner that's sort of slumped over and looks spent and looks tired, or someone that's complaining or yelling. So you want to project out the sort of energy that you want to attract. So try to get yourself in a place where it's not like you have to crack jokes all the time, but where you're smiling or you're feeling okay, and that's going to be what's going to attract a good partner for you. And uh, we don't always think about that, but we attract what we need or what we are saying we're ready for. So if we're not ready for happiness, we actually attract situations that aren't happy. So I want you to be ready for happiness. All right, let's take a look at, we looked at health, wealth, love. Now let's take a look at your trajectory for destiny and see it's a little bit of a peek into 2017, um, where you're headed. This has come up for almost, uh, like, I think three signs this month. I'm happy. Um, I'm really happy when I see consistency despite shuffling. Um, so 2017, I think it's going to be a very good year for people if you take advantage of the opportunity. So prosperity, abundance, it says the universe is pouring abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And um, I actually, I think I had the word receive or yeah I did for one of the other signs this month uh, for you it's recalibrate so I want you to be open to it I still think that fits this but um, yeah we're looking at a very good end of the year and I think January is going to bring more opportunity so if we're to look specifically at your sign actually I'm gonna start the, the review here uh, again your channeled information was recalibrate uh, looking specifically at abundance here the, ch the training that you're doing, the mentorship opportunity that you're partaking in, I think that's what's going to yield the abundance. That's why I didn't want you to lose track of it. And I also think that once you've got your priorities balanced out, you're going to be much more productive and be able to sort of keep or make more money. Uh, when we look at the big themes for this month, you should be in control of things. Try not to pass the buck. It'll be better if you take a lead on anything in life, including personal relationships, like talking to your loved one and saying, you know, uh, you know, I want to see you more or thank you so much for this. You can start those positive communication cycles, but it's up to you. The love is there and it's ready to come in. Um, let go of any sort of tension over past decisions. They've been made um, and they're done. And if they haven't, let them sort of happen as quickly as possible and move past that. Uh, with the moon at the center here, it's showing a lot of sensitivity and emotion that you could channel into creative endeavors if you'd like. Otherwise, you can put that straight into passionate type things like love or, again, uh, project management, sharing your passion, your work passion if you wanted to. Be careful of friends and family that are really needing more than just a friendship. They're looking for someone to take care of them. Um, unless that's something you're ready or willing to do, you need to put some boundaries up. We got two cards showing um, some difficulties when it comes to expressing thoughts and words. Um, so what I want you to do this month is really to um, use your imagination to think of potential blocks as opportunities instead. Rest and get as much sleep as possible so that you can avoid um, losing your temper or losing your perspective. Have fun. Even if you can't do it at work, have fun at home or sing in the car. I don't care how, but I want you to infuse some joy into your life know that that's going to be what pulls in someone else and is going to feed this potential to have a loving relationship. Uh, we're looking at a very prosperous beginning to next year. Looks like some great opportunities, possibly a shift in job. Um, whenever I see this horn of plenty, it means it could affect any aspect of your life. And so just be open to the change and see it as a potential growth opportunity and very good things can follow.
all right? So that's all that uh, came through for you for this December. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with me each month and all the support that you've lent as well in the way of likes and subscribes and really kind comments. It means a lot uh, to me and it really does help encourage me to do this. Uh, if you'd like to keep in touch, the best way to do so is just to hit subscribe, but if you'd prefer, I have a newsletter, and I'm also on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, finally, if you found that this was helpful, then uh, you can choose to send a small donation to keep the channel going. That's up to you, and that's optional. Otherwise, I wish you the best of holiday, whatever you celebrate this, this season, and at the very least, I wish you a very prosperous new year. So take care of yourselves. Much love and gratitude to you. Um, Satnam and Happy New Year. See you in January.